The jaw relation recording device. This device facilitates jaw relation recordings of the completely edentulous patient. One arch edentulous opposing dentate. Both arches dentate or partially dentate. It also stabilizes denture bases to fabricate orthopedic splints and equilibrate the occlusion on full or partial dentures. It is completely disposable. We are now going to discuss mounting the jaw recorders for the dentate patient. This patient will become edentulous. As seen here, we have maxillary and mandibular models on the left, and on the right we have fabricated resin, both palatal and lingual resin devices in order to mount the recording devices. As seen in this photo, we are going to use both the mandibular and maxillary lingual resins in order to mount the lower. We have either a, a large or a small pin receiver which can be attached to the lower. The practitioner can decide which one fits best. On the maxilla, we can use either the large or small striking plate. There have been several striking plates provided, so the practitioner does have a choice. In this case, we are going to utilize the large striking plate to place on the lingual of the maxilla. And on the lower, we're going to use the small pin receiver. In order to facilitate a better fit, it is necessary to trim the lower pin receiver in this case to make sure that no tooth structure is encumbered. Once this has been completed, we take a ribbon of light cured material and place this on the underside of the pin receiver and then place this onto the resin. It is necessary to put a priming agent prior to polymerization. I am now placing the lower pin receiver onto the lower acrylic resin and pushing it forward to approximate approximately 50% from the anterior posterior uh, dimension of the arch. Note. If any resin encumbers the area where the pin and ball are inserted, this will be a problem. It is important to make sure that the resin is clear of this perforation. In the right area of the slide, I am showing that we need to put a small amount of resin over the top of the striking plate in order to secure it. Once this has been done, we will then light activate. It is now necessary to place the spacer. This is a paralleling spacer which will snap onto the lower pin receiver. This will assist in mounting the maxillary striking plate. Both plates will be mounted to become parallel with each other and the paralleling spacer will also give additional room for the pin to work. Once this has been accomplished, we will then put light resin on the upper palatal resin, place the striking plate, and then take the lower paralleling snap and place into position. By placing the upper against the lower paralleling snap, this will ensure the parallelism of the upper and lower devices. We will now light activate. Once this has been completed, we will now remove the paralleling snap and then place the pivoting nut without the screw. It is important to understand that in order to place the pivoting nut, you must use finger and thumb and compress firmly for it to directly go into the socket. It is a friction grip. 
Once this has been completed, then the pin can be placed into the nut. This shows the nut completely seated into the pin receiver. We are now placing the pin into the nut. Once it has been placed, we can then upright the pin to a vertical position. As seen here, the pin can be rotated laterally or anterior posteriorly. This was specifically designed because not all jaws are going to be parallel with the recording devices. Therefore, the practitioner can easily take and rotate the pin until the pin strikes perpendicular with the plate. As seen here, we have the completed mounting of the maxillary and mandibular uh, jaw recording devices onto base plates of the dentate patient.